Hello my beautiful Sagittarius and welcome to your love reading for this month. Um, we're going to be finding out what is coming towards you in love. So whoever or whatever you're thinking about, you know, just have that in mind while you're watching this video. Please bear in mind that this may or may not resonate with you. So just take what resonates because I'm just going to be picking up on lots of different energies and whatever comes up. You know, if the shoe fits, lace it up. If it doesn't, <laughs> check your sun, your moon, your rising and or Venus. Venus, you definitely want to check because that's your love life. So if you don't know what that is, you can find out online, okay? Um, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. Like, I really, really do appreciate it all. Thank you so much. For those of you who are used to um, my normal setup, I will be resuming that for the mid-month readings. I was just guided to just do a different, a, just something different for the love. Just something different. So, yeah, so you won't have to part with seeing me for the next readings, okay? Don't worry. But I will still show you the cards. So how I'm going to be reading the tarot today is I have the overall energy. I've already cleansed the cards, asked all the relevant questions. Um, I use three different tarot decks, not tarot, oracle decks. And then I clarify the oracle with the tarot. And then at the end, I will be getting a message from the angels um, for extra advice or additional information that you may or may not need to know, okay? So before we start the reading, the overall energy we have here is protect your hair so i feel like what this is saying red as well could be very significant to you red and blue and you could be dealing with a water or a fire sign um another fire sign i feel like you're you're going to be very self-protective very protective of yourself you might be quite protective of your heart you may just be i'm hearing self-care and self-love so you might not even be focused on love right now um, but we will find that as we go on. But I just feel like this woman, she looks like she's at peace with herself. So I feel like you've been nurturing yourself. You've been taking care of yourself. Um, and that is the overall energy. It's all about you and how you feel. But I do feel like some of you are quite protective over your heart. I'm also hearing like sexual desire and passion. Like some of you might be more into casual sexual altercations rather than lovey dovey dovey stuff but you know we will find out and then yeah at the bottom of the deck here we've got you are your hair so again i feel like this is just very empowering in terms of love like i feel like the love that you have for yourself um determines the love that is coming towards you okay but we will dive deeper also i feel like somebody wants to protect you someone is very protective over you somebody's trying to get to your heart okay um but let's dig in deeper shall we so what's coming towards my beautiful sagittarius is for december what oh what just flew out persistence okay yeah so somebody is going to be nudging at you like i feel like someone is trying like i said to get to your heart um but i feel like because you know the, the fairies they kind of just flutter like they're hard to catch but they're very beautiful they're very sparkly and i feel like sages are very free spirited so there might be somebody that has their eye on you and they're just like determined to try and capture you um because you're very alluring to somebody with these butterflies as well that represents transformation and change so yeah i feel like someone's trying to catch you like that's what i just keep hearing like catch you and like fairies might be very significant to you as well what's coming towards love for my sages two cards flipped out but we will i'm just gonna do it again because i just want one card okay one card what's coming towards my beautiful sagittarius is for um december okay we've got compassion here so somebody wants you to have mercy on them they're just like yo yo like i feel like someone can't catch up with you or this could be how you're dealing with feeling about somebody else and they're just like they're just trying to get you they're just trying to get your attention um it's like you know have mercy on me like i'm not as fast as you i'm not as like also i feel like somebody because this does represent forgiveness um you know love compassion forgiveness like having empathy so i feel like somebody someone's trying to tune their like they're trying to get in touch with their heart chakra and um they're trying to it's either somebody wants your forgiveness or somebody wants you to hear them out or somebody just wants you to be a bit more compassionate towards them or vice versa take it how it resonates there's an energy here that's very like woo just all over the place i just want to be free i just want to be and i feel like somebody 
doesn't want you to be like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But let's see. One more card for my beautiful Sagittarius. Too many cards. What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius for love? What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius for love? Too many cards. One card, please. We've got transcendence. Yeah, so somebody just wants to transcend. Like, they just want to change the situation. And look how she's all green. Again, when I mentioned the heart chakra, you could be dealing with an earth sign. I've got water and I've got fire here, okay? Green could be very significant to you. But she looks very like, you know, she's got the crown on. She's just like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm doing me, boo. With all this self-love, I feel like as well, some of you might just be focusing on loving up on yourself, being more compassionate to yourself, okay? Clarification at the bottom of the deck, we've got independence. So, yeah, some of you are very independent right now. And I don't feel like love is your focus, but I do feel like there is somebody that is wants to capture your heart. But I feel like they may feel that you're very protective over it, okay? But we'll dig in deeper, okay? So please clarify these cards for my beautiful Sagittarius's. Please clarify persistence. Okay, we've got health here. This is um this is really good when this card comes up. She's like the goddess of health and cleanliness. She also uses um herbs and like nature to to cure like diseases and things. You could be somebody that's into yoga as well. Um but cuz we've got compassion and health here, this could be somebody that you are not speaking to and they are they're persisting on healing the situation. Like, you know, nagging, I just feel like it's annoying to you almost. It's annoying. Like, somebody is annoyed. It's like, listen, I'm at peace right now, okay? I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on my independence. You know, I am my own starlight. I don't really want to deal with you. I just want to be sexy and free, okay? <laughs> That's for somebody. And, um... Yeah, somebody doesn't like that, okay? Also, this could just be you being very determined and persistent on your own self-help. You could be self-help, 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 self-help. <laughs> you could be dealing, um, definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be very in tune with nature right now. Also, some of you like snakes or you're into snakes or snakes could be your totem animal. Snakes are very, it's not, Everyone has a perception of snakes like it's bad, but snakes are actually to do with health and like the life source and universal energy. So, yeah. Um, I also feel like someone was trying to sliver their way to you. Sliver. But green is very significant to somebody. Somebody, if you wear green as well, you may get a message. You may see a fairy as well. When you see sparkles of light, that's fairies, by the way. Um, so, yeah. You could just be very determined to work on your, yeah, just your own, like, fitness, I'm hearing. Like, looking after your body, just loving up on yourself. But I feel like somebody, somebody may see you as well, like, in a very healthy state. And that might be very alluring to them. Okay, please clarify compassion for Sagittarius's. Please clarify compassion. What's coming towards my Sagittarius in love for December? Oh, Jesus Christ, all these cards. Direction, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So... Somebody wants to go in towards the direction of you and they want empathy. I'm hearing they want empathy, they want compassion. I always get desire from this card as well. Um, and like, she's just very like, she's just looking forward, like I'm focused on me. Some of you um, ancestral an ancestors might be very significant to some of you because this is the card that connects with their ancestors. This is all about rituals as well. Somebody could be doing some sort of love ritual to try and draw you in. <laughs> or you could be doing that. I don't know. Um, I'm hearing like love potions. Sorry for that noise, guys. That was my leg and my floor. Um, if you heard a weird noise, it was definitely not a, you know. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's clarify transcendence as well. For my beautiful Sagittarius's. Yes, transformation and trans, I mean, you know, it goes hand in hand, okay? Um, most definitely, somebody, I feel like there's an energy that is focused on transforming their complete self. Like, 
someone has really gone within they've connected with their ancestors or some sort of spiritual stuff someone's very into spirituality and into he like healing and i'm hearing like herbalist um nature gardening and i feel like someone is in awe of that i also feel like someone is raising their vibration and because they're raising their vibration they're actually attracting a partner but I just, I just, I really do feel like this could be you or someone else. But I feel like you're not focused on it as such. But it's coming towards you because you're doing the work that you need to do. Okay? I also feel like somebody wants to come towards you to just transform a completely, like, they just want to change up the situation is what I keep hearing. And I feel like... You're so protective over yourself and over the work that you've been doing on yourself. And I like Sagis are very free. Um, but obviously you're interested in love because you wouldn't be watching this if you wasn't. So <laughs> do you know? But um I don't know. What's at the bottom of the deck? Boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Clarification. So this could be your energy. Like we've got the independence, we've got the boundaries, we've got the protect yourself. So like, yeah, and she's just like this. She's like, um, you know. Two meters, keep your two meter distance. That might be it as well. You just might be like, do you know what? There's a pandemic out here. I'm not really, right, really trying to get to know you like that, okay? <laughs> let's take time with it. Let's take time, okay? All right, let's just dive in deeper with another Oracle deck. And then I will be going in with the tarot, okay? This is for my beautiful Sagittarius. What's coming towards Sagittarius for love? Yeah, we've got the agency um so this is like your own having power over your own body um and because if you look at this lady here she's like mine 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 she like the titties mine the coochie mine my body's mine okay you know mine 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 like you know catch me if you can <laughs> with this energy with the fairy she, and she's just like, listen, I've worked hard to be healing my body and myself and nurturing myself. Like, I want to keep it all to myself. Like, somebody wants to keep that good good to themselves. And somebody's just like, the fuck you ain't. Like, I want it. I just really feel like some, there's like a, it's like you're unreachable to a person. I'm hearing hard to get. You could be playing hard to get. You could be playing hard to get. Somebody is. Please clarify direction for my beautiful... Woo! Sagittarius is. Yep, the courage. So, again, could be dealing with a Leo. And with all this pink energy as well, like, I just... I really do feel like I'm hearing pretty in pink. Pink might be very significant to you. Pink is also, like, unconditional love. It's romance. It's friendship. Maybe you want a friendship with someone. Maybe there's some sort of friendship, like, friends in benefit situation and somebody wants to transform the energy, but you're, like in a non-committal phase in the sense that i don't really want to be tied down like i just want to just have fun but someone is like no i want you i'm gonna have you i'm determined thank you if this is someone from your past they are they want your compassion they want your mercy they want to come into in like they want to come towards you because you light up their life you are the sun okay to them and they're trying to have the courage to do this also somebody finds your strength very attractive very empowering okay someone can can come across as very like strong and bold but they actually have quite a sensitive side okay please clarify transformation um for my beautiful Sagittarius what's coming towards them in love wow we've got the strength again definitely could be dealing with a Leo wow well courage and strength but I, I said strength when i when i when i when i was reading that card so yeah that's just confirmation um you could have freckles or the person that you're dealing with or thinking about or is coming towards you may have freckles um stars as well can be very significant to you but yeah this person wants to transform the situation with you Okay, yeah, with, with the power at the bottom of the deck, again, um, Scorpio's just had this. You might have Scorpio in your chart. Um, interesting, so we're going to go in with the tarot. 
but what I'm getting from this is like, yeah, just there's like an energy where it's just like, no, you know, catch me if you can. You know, I know I look good. I know I feel good. <laughs> and someone's just like, oof. I want that Sag. I need that Sag. Like, that Sag is mine. Okay? I feel like as well, someone's trying to match you. That with the courage and the strength here. It's like someone's trying to, trying to match you. But someone's too soft for your energy. Or vice versa. I hope this is making sense to somebody. Because I'm just getting so many different messages here. I'm just like, am I making sense? I don't motherfucking know. Alright, so let's go in with the tarot. So this is for my beautiful Sagittarius. What's coming towards them in love? Please clarify these cards. What's coming towards them in love? Wow, Sagittarius came out. <laughs> dealing with, you could be dealing with another Sagittarius, but I feel like you're just refreshing yourself. Okay, healing, balance, you know, um, but I do feel like somebody, there's, there's an element of healing here. Like somebody wants to heal a situation with you. I feel like there's one party where they're just like, mm, I don't really know. And there's another party where they're just like, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, this can also represent reconciliation. Okay. But you, I told you, like, your, your ultimate self, like, this is you in the reading. Like, you are, this is you. I'm just like, you know, I've worked hard on healing myself, okay? I don't really know if I want to share all of this. And somebody's just like, oh, come on, man, you know, with the, with the, um, the, the cups and the feelings. Like, you know, we'll be equal. Like, can we just, let's just balance this out. You know, but you can't, how can you balance out a fairy? Like, fairies flutter around. You know, you can't, a fairy can't be contained. Someone has very fairy-like energy. they just very sparkly, okay? Especially with the angel here. I'm hearing someone sees you as a star. But it's like stars, you can't reach them. Like, we can be in awe of stars. We can look up to the stars in the nighttime and appreciate the stars, admire the stars, but you can't touch a star can you you know someone is untouchable that's, that's all i gotta say please clarify the coverage for my beautiful sagittarius wow okay <laughs> five of wands yeah so competition arguing fight some this could be self-confliction as well this could be your energy because it is fire energy i feel like there's a lot of competition to try and get your attention that's what i'm hearing you know, there's a lot of competition. There could be, there could have been arguments with this person um, who you're thinking about and they want your forgiveness or they just want to ease up the situation. Like, they're just like, can we just sort this out? Can we just call it? And you're just like, oh no, I'm, I'm kind of done. Like, I'm not with you and I'm, I'm doing quite all right. Thank you very much. Do I really want to go back to, to that? But yeah, all this could be just someone competing for your attention. They're trying to get to your soft side. And they're just like, how? How do I get there? How do I get to that Sagittarius who is so independent and so free? And so beautiful and so gorgeous. Please clarify the strength. Woo! Too many cards for my beautiful Sagittariuses. Wow, yeah. The fuck, the fuck. We got the devil. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Capricorn. You might have that in your chart. Somebody is obsessed. Like someone is, I told you, determined to 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 catch that fairy. They cannot take their eyes off of you. Someone also is in love with your freckles as well. And especially like she's got stars in her hair. So yeah, she's got freckles. So Someone is com in complete awe of you, of your body. You could be someone who's very curvy or gets compliments on the shape of your body. This could be an interracial relationship or same sex relationship, or you could be somebody who likes the same sex. Um, but yeah, somebody I feel like is obsessing over you. They're just, yeah, they're just obsessed. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. So, yeah, somebody is trying to manifest you, okay? Like, that's their mission, I'm hearing. 
So I'm going to use another deck to clarify. I'm just trying to look. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I'm just like, where the... Where is my other deck? What the fuck? Okay, so apologies for the language, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so this is for my beautiful um, Sagittarius's. This is for my beautiful Sagittarius's. What's coming towards them in love? Please clarify temperance. Wow, yeah, we've got the four of wands. Definitely could be dealing with another fire sign. But yeah, um, you know, this card represents marriage. It could be your twin flame. Um... This is like roots, putting down roots and solid. So I, again, I just feel like someone's just like, I want to grab you and put you down, lock you down. Like, I don't want to be doing all of this. Like, I don't want to be going back and forth. I just want to take one wand away so that we can just get to this. Okay? Let us get to this. Let us balance out this drama, this competitive behavior. You know, I don't want to fight for your attention anymore. I just want you. You are mine. Somebody wants to celebrate with you. Someone wants a victory. A victory to catch the Sag. <laughs> like, when they catch you, they're going to feel victorious. You see that couple where they're just like, yes. Woo. Someone wants to lock you down. Someone's like, can I marry a Sagittarius? Like, if I propose to a Sagittarius, will they say yes? Some of you also might be thinking about settling down. No, I don't, I don't, I don't feel that, though especially with this independence. Or you could you could just be feeling like maybe I should not keep myself to myself anymore and maybe I should be more open and I should be more free, see what's out there. There could be a lot of people competing for your attention as well. Like I just feel like there's a lot of people competing for, for, for this beautiful Sag and this beautiful Sag is like, I, I don't know, I don't know. Five of Wands, please. Beautiful with the Empress. So yeah, someone definitely wants growth, okay? This is gorgeous. Like, this is you. This is your energy. Or this could be someone else. You could be dealing with a Libra. But I told you, they just feel... They just look at you and they're just in absolute awe. Like, the, the Empress is all the queens in one. If someone sees you as the Empress, they see you as absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. Like, there's nobody like you. You can fulfill them. Look at all those flowers and all that. The pink. Someone is competing for the Empress's attention. But how can you get with the Empress? Like... You know, you bring an offer in, okay? That's what you do. You match the empress. But I feel like someone is trying to match you. They're like, hello, see me. And the empress is like, oh, I don't know. But someone definitely wants to grow a situation with you. Um, also, you could be dealing with the mother of your child or you could be a baby mother. There could be some baby mama drama as well. And maybe that's what is conflicting like that's the conflicting energy within this connection and that's why someone's like i just don't i can't deal with all of this like i'm quite good on my own you know i feel a little something something for you i have a bit of compassion i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna do me and it's like the more one party draws away from the other party the more obsessed you know like the more you act like you don't want someone the more they want you do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Please clarify the devil. Woo. That just wanted to f fly out. Yeah, we've got the um, three of swords here. And you see with that eye. So, yeah, if this is somebody from your past, they are definitely upset. You could have broken away from someone from your past. You could have become independent, beautiful, go-getter. You're doing, you're looking good. You're feeling good. You're healed. Um, you're transcending, you're transforming, you, you're, you're, you know, you've gone through that cocoon and you're now the butterfly spreading your wings. Very pretty doing it. Pretty, I'm hearing sitting pretty, okay? And this really is getting to somebody. Like, they are obsessed. They are obsessed. They definitely watch you at night time. This person is like, it's an unhealthy attachment. Someone is very attached and someone is the opposite. And it's breaking this person's heart to see that someone here is doing good without them. They're just like, how? Yeah, with the four of the pentacles at the bottom of the deck, again, you could be dealing with another air sign and or an earth sign. Um, they can't let go. And this also represents holding back. You could be holding back, someone else can't let go. And, you know, they want to manifest you back into their life. 
but I feel like someone is just like, for this December, I just want to just look good and feel good and be pretty doing it. And I want you to see me while I'm doing it, okay? Like, I'm feeling, like, Sajis are just like, <laughs> Cause this isn't my energy i'm just saying okay and one more I'm gonna clarify it with one more tarot deck oh look and we've got the empress right here and then i'm going to be getting some additional messages from the angels okay this is for my beautiful sages what's coming towards them in love for december please clarify the four of ones too many too many cards please clarify the four of ones okay Two wanted to come out. We'll just take it because it goes in alignment with what I said. We've got the Eight of Pentacles here, so yeah, I just I really do feel like you've just been working on yourself. This person is just concentrated on their hard work. Um, they're not really focused on what's behind them, or like this is everything that they've worked on, but they're just focused on one thing. It's like yeah, you know, I've, I, that's all in the past. I'm I'm working on this now. Also, somebody wants to put in work to ground you. Somebody wants to put in that work. You're putting in work in your set on yourself or vice versa, take the energy how it resonates. And someone wants to put in that work because they want a new beginning with you. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is quite beautiful. It's like a serious, sincere offer. This person is very serious about you. Whoever it is that's coming towards you, okay, they are like, they want marriage with you. Like this is confirmation, okay? They may try to propose to you because they may feel like that's the only way that they can lock you down. Um, but yeah, this is quite beautiful. It's like marriage, success, victory. Someone is working hard on some sort of proposal or some sort of offer. But they, they like, this person wants to be loyal and like they see forever with you. Okay. Wow. Please clarify the Empress. Why is the Empress here? what's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius is what is why is the empress here i just want one card can i have one can i have one wow okay two wanted to come out we've got the hermit and we've got death you could be dealing with a scorpio um or a virgo <sighs> yeah this is definitely somebody that you're separated from i feel like he's just there like searching for the light with his torch like that represents you and he's like i'm, I'm gonna go and find her i'm gonna find her or him whoever you're dealing with and she's just like look at me i got my own flame <laughs> like rebirth resurrection do you know what i mean and look at all these people just trying it they're just like please notice us and the empress is like oh you know fighting for the empress's attention trying to get you okay but again i just feel like someone's like no i don't want this i want to stay single from you because i'm going on my spiritual journey i'm healing i feel good i look good and this was too much you were too much too too much you could have also been very codependent on this person in the past and now you're not and now the roles have reversed i'm hearing the roles have reversed, but yeah, some it's like somebody's working on an offer, okay, and someone's like, I don't want it, stay over there, stay over there, but definitely someone wants to resurrect a situation with you, because it's like they're in isolation from you, and they want to come towards you, like, they're just like, because the hermit is looking at her, she's like, I know you've ended it, I know you ended it, but like, no, I know you ended it, I know you ended it, but please, please give me a chance. She's just like, yeah. I'll see. You know, I've got all these other, all these other people, just wanting to just, you know. Ugh, I'll see. Yeah. And please clarify the three of swords. Oh wow, this is quite a long reading. Yeah. Um, we've got the moon here. We've got the moon. So yeah, someone I told you, someone's watching you at night time. They're thinking about you at night. There's very deep emotions. Someone's really, really, really hurt and they're upset and they just want to heal a situation with you. Yeah, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. So expect a message of sincerity, okay? So we're just going to take one card, one more card because we've gone quite over the time. So one card for my beautiful Sagittarius from the Angels for advice. 
this is for my beautiful Sagittarius's for the advice for coming up in love for December okay so we got two cards that came out one says take charge and action and one says take a step back so yeah I told you there's two different energies here there's somebody that is like yeah I want this I'm going for this and someone's like leave it out mate stay over there so I don't know maybe like do you know even he's just like ease up ease up that's what he looks like he's saying isn't it <laughs> so I just feel like I don't know, someone is going to be charging towards you and I feel like someone might get rejected here. There isn't a clear, in I mean, well, yeah, with the death card, I was going to say there isn't a clear indication of rejection, but I don't know, I don't know, just see how you feel, okay? If you've worked really hard on yourself and you're just like, this heartbreak is too much, you've broken the toxic cycle, maybe you just need to focus and do you, boo do you but that is all we have for today if you like this reading or if it helped um please do not hesitate to like comment share and or subscribe um i will see you in the next reading with my usual setup for the mid-month readings for next week so check those out but thank you so much for sagittarius's um